it's time for the latest from Germany's domestic football league, the Bundesliga and more. For that, we are joined by Chris Harrington from our partner station, Deutsche Welle in Berlin. Before we get into some actual football though, Chris, there were floods that devastated the western parts of Germany. German football has stepped up to help the situation. Please tell us more about that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Now, just to put in perspective, uh, these are the worst floods Germany's had in 200 years. I mean, uh, survivors, uh, you know, of the flood have said it's like a bomb went off. There's devastation every direction uh, they gaze their eyes upon. Uh, and the reality is the infrastructure really isn't set up in place and certain things aren't set up in place to really, you know, help those affected. And what the sport has done in the country, the German Football Association, uh, known as uh, the basically the DFL and uh, the DFB, the operators of the national side of the sport, they came together and they formed a three million euro fund to uh, help the victims. And uh, it, it goes beyond that. Um, Bayern Munich and Cologne just came off a friendly recently, and they both donated together. They came up with the fund along with their sponsor to help as well. And Oliver Kahn, you know, uh, the new brass at Bayern Munich, calls it just a first step. You know, uh, what he had to say, he, he was really empathetic, you know, with the victims, you know, and I believe he will galvanize more support throughout the Bundesliga because you Bayern Munich are the leaders, you know, not only, you know, on paper, but in terms of a lot of uh, social efforts. And uh, you want to applaud the defending champions for what they've done along with Cologne. And uh, this is sport itself. And I think that there's a lot of more, uh, a lot more work to be done. And uh, hopefully, you know, those that can help uh, extend uh, the help that's needed. Chris, Tokyo 2020 is almost underway. As a matter of fact, it is around the corner. I understand that the Germany football team walked off the pitch in protest during a friendly match against Honduras. Here we go again, right? You know, uh, another alleged racist incident. You know, the target was uh, central back Jordan Turunariga. He plays uh, for Hertha Berlin right here in the capital city. You know, it was towards the end of the match, and... Uh, he was livid. You know, the score was tied, but he was livid, very upset. He could hardly contain himself, you know, uh, and, and, and he understood what was happening, you know, and then he and the team got together and, and walked off the pitch as they should. You know, it is a team sport. You know, uh, it's either you're with us or against us in terms of this disgusting racist behavior, you know, and uh, I do believe uh, what he had to say. You know, I think it gets swept under the rug a lot, but it's – was brought back into everyone's uh, attention, you know, what happened at the following of the European Championship, you know, when the three black uh, English players failed to convert their penalties and resulted in a loss. We saw that hatred, you know, there, you know, and it, it even it exists in the sport. Honduras claims that there was a misunderstanding, you know, uh, obviously what else would they say? They're not going to condone anything like this. You know, obviously they probably want their players to uh, represent better values. You know, but the coach, uh, Stefan Kuntz, who leads Germany, Tokyo 2020 effort, you know, he basically said when something happens, you know, against our values, we collectively come together and make a stand. And that's what they did. You know, the sad reality is it's not the first time Jordan Turunariga has been on the receiving end of racial abuse. Back in the German Cup match in 2020, you know, he was subjected to monkey chants from Schalke supporters, a team that's been relegated to the second division, you know, and he was sent off the pitch in that match after, you know, he went to the official and expressed what happened. You know, um, uh, we have to see what happens, you know, with this. Will this continue beha uh, behavior continue in Tokyo 2020? Germany kick off their tournament against Saudi Arabia on the 25th. You know, uh, uh, that's a Sunday. You know, let's hope that um, we could just see uh, fair play values and just the best man win in the tournament and not be, you know, derailed from – ridiculous actions like these are hopefully uh, things do improve there were indeed some bundesliga friendlies played over the weekend with bayern and dortmund and a few others any shocking results there chris yeah well you know i mentioned in the friendlies before you know what could happen in friendlies you rarely see you know uh your top starting 11 field uh the uh, uh take the field you know and then just considering what what recently happened in the european championship a handful of bayern players were not present, and uh, they lost to Cologne 3-2. Now, the goal scorers, Eric Chopumoteng was not a goal scorer. He led the Bayern attack. He recently signed an extension. Joshua Xerxes, you know, came through and scored a goal. He was, 
you know, a uh, far and few between replacement for Robert Lewandowski, you know, in the past. And Armindo uh, Sieb, an 18-year-old, you know, converted another goal, you know, for Bayern Munich. You know, uh, Cologne, what they did have in their advantage is they had a full uh, power team, you know. Um, so it's understandable that the results aren't always there, you know, uh, you know, but they're going to test the waters. The, uh, Bayern play, you know, a Greek side in another friendly, you know, before they kick off their German Cup campaign. Uh, which they will not be defending. The other team I'll mention will be, that's Dortmund. You know, Dortmund lost to Bochum. Uh, that was a shocking result, you know, in my opinion. Bochum is a team that won the second division. It, it, it suggests that the field is becoming more level because it was a landslide victory. I mean, Bochum scored three goals before uh, Dortmund were able to get on the scoring sheet. You know, and that doesn't fare well. That doesn't look the best. You know, we do know Dortmund uh, are missing some players, a key player in Jaden Sancho. Allen Holland wasn't in that match. Uh, I'm sure that uh, made a difference because Allen Holland, we all recognize, is a prolific scorer. You know, uh, but these are just tune-up matches. You know, I wouldn't get too caught up in the results, even though um, it does suggest that Bohem might be there longer, you know, than some of the predecessors that, you know, won the second division and couldn't hang around in the top league long enough, you know, because I'm sure other sides are noticing, you know, their offensive power, at least what they recently displayed against Dortmund. But, hey, we have to wait and see what happens when the season started. A lot of Bundesliga players are scattered all over competing in multiple tournaments. So I think... You know, a week before the league starts, uh, mid-August, you know, will be a little closer to what uh, the reality will be. And as usual, Chris, what else has hit your radar this week? Yeah, one thing I think everyone should be keeping a watchful eye on is Robert Lewandowski's situation at Bayern Munich. You know, the word is they are in uh, talks of an extension of his contract. His extension, his contract is set to expire, you know, uh, next season, the season after next. You know, so... Other teams are interested. Uh, Robert Lewandowski himself said that maybe he would test his skill sets at other leagues. Maybe he wants more recognition. He's put up magnificent numbers in the Bundesliga, but he's not always talked about as the best strikers in the world. At Chelsea uh, have been interested. I, I think we should all watch uh, that because Chelsea reportedly got shot down with the ridiculous offer they made for Dortmund's Allen Holland. I don't think Holland's going anywhere. Lewandowski could be. I think that's important for uh, all fans, even Bayern fans alike, uh, to be uh, on the uh, watch out for his future. Thank you very much for the Bundesliga update. Mr. Chris Harrington from our partner station Deutsche Welle in Berlin, Germany. Have a fantastic day further. Danke und auf Wiedersehen.